Are, who are you voting for? Me? Yeah. Uh, probably Kamala. Why? Or I'll just write somebody in, but probably Kamala. Um, it's just my views. What's her greatest accomplishment? My Kamala's greatest yes. accomplishment? I mean, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> no, can, you, can you name a single accomplishment? I don't follow politics that much, to be honest. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook educates Kamala, Kamala Harris fan on Trump. Okay, I call Charlie Kick because enough kicking us. Let's get right to this video. Seven million new people under the age of 30 bought homes when Donald Trump was president. Woohoo! Yeah, isn't that great? That's great. I love homes. Yes, good. Um, now it is harder than ever to buy a home. When yeah. Donald Trump was president, interest rates were 2%. Now they are upwards of 10%. But, Wasn't but, that also partially caused by me, COVID? I'm not, a, I'm not a professional on this. No, no, all, it's, it's fine. Yes, of course it was partially COVID. But the point, a lot of it was bounce back. Donald Trump oversaw the greatest economy in American history for people our age. So yes, but the, ask the question of deregulation. He got rid of five regulations for every one new regulation that he put in. Okay. And a lot of it is just paperwork. It's stuff that would drive you insane. Let, let me actually, so here's a good example. When you, I'm guessing you have student loans, right? FAFSA? No, no you not, don't have student loans? Not yet. I'm a freshman, so. Well, how are you paying for college? I mean, I don't have, I'm, I have, uh, yeah, I have FAFSA money. Okay, that's a student, that's a yeah. student loan, right. Well, it's a, gr it's a grant, so I don't have to pay. Okay, back. so somebody, so I'm paying for your college. Yeah, right? well, so, and when um, I, when I graduate, I'll yeah, be paying. So, so got it, that's but, fine. Yeah. Um, so. My parents are too. And, that's fine, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm that's fine, I'm not insulting, it's okay. fine. So, it's, okay, <laughs> I, I hope you learn a lot. Yeah. It's OPM, other Just people's Just make money. the deck, yeah. No, it's fine, but no, so. When you were filling out those forms, was there ever a time where you felt a little exhaustive and it was like a little duplicative? No, the, the forms I, this year were actually really good. They were, for me, it was pretty good. Does anyone sympathize with the amount of forms you guys have to fill out? I Anybody? mean, if if okay. anybody here Way is your many. supporter, they're gonna be they're gonna agree with you. But yeah. Well, no, it's just a matter of like observing reality, right? Let me get to the point, which is important. Okay. So the financial crisis comes. They say it was deregulation. Sure. So we have thousands of pages. So if you guys yep. want to go buy a home, you know this, you have to sign hundreds of pieces of paper, okay? Mm -hmm. And your parents can tell you, hundreds of pieces of paper. So a small bank, let's say like the, the Bank of Madison, yeah. they have like 15 employees. Sure. So when they have to fill out pieces of paper, that is time, energy that they can't afford. JP Morgan is a multi-trillion dollar company. For them, extra pieces of paper is nothing. So who does regulation hurt more? The local bank of Madison, Wisconsin, or J.P. Morgan? But are you not cherry picking like what regulation is? Like I'm talking about environmental okay, regulation. I've already told you. So, so you have a very specific narrow view of regulation. No, I'm asking but let you me about a specific type of regulation. I've already regulation. told you on the environmental side. But let me that be very care. clear. That you're most regulation is paper. Regulation. You know most regulation is paperwork, right? Sure. You should yeah. go read the National Registry. I encourage you guys to do it. It is millions and millions of pages of unnecessary things that have to be notarized, and a lawyer has to sign it, and then it has to be a committee. And small businesses don't have the bandwidth or the money to comply with that, whereas big businesses do, right? Yeah. How do you suppose we regulate them? Is well, that that's like the question, right? Is that the government also sucks and big corporations suck, so okay. what's the solution? So you'd call for like a complete governmental reform? Would you call for I, a stronger I, federal government? Probably or? not. No, I think that probably empowering the little against the big through increased competition and entrepreneurialism is probably the best solution. But when hmm. so you're still controlling like monopolies and so forth because well, you know, no, most like monopolies Amazon. right now are made possible thanks to the government. So, for example, yeah. Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Moderna, Johnson and Johnson, okay. they remain vaccine manufacturers because of the government, government and the government pumps tons of money yeah. in them through NIH funding and vaccine funding. Okay. Same so, could be same could be said for the biggest food companies. They get huge agricultural subsidies. Big oil companies get big oil subsidies. Yeah, I mean, anyway. She's mad at me this whole time, but she's she okay, will agree but with I'll, you I'll, anyway. I'll summarize this conversation. I think it's a, you're coming at this in good in good spirit. Is that when you increase the paperwork burden and the needless yeah. amount of committees and lawyers, regulations and accountants, it, it's harder for the next Elon Musk to found Tesla. True. It's harder for the next entrepreneur to start the next great company because he has to spend all of his time on compliance and not on wealth creation or entrepreneurial activity. Donald Trump wants to liberate the American entrepreneur to not be bogged down by unnecessary rules, regulations, and paperwork, mm. and instead be worried about creating jobs and creating a lot of wealth. Okay. Right, who are you voting for? Me? Yeah. Uh, probably Kamala. Why? Or I'll just write somebody in, but probably Kamala. Um, it's just my views. What's her greatest accomplishment? My Kamala's greatest yes. accomplishment? I mean, I don't know. I don't. No, can, you, can you name a single accomplishment? I don't follow politics that much, to be honest. Oh, yeah.
And I couldn't. I couldn't name. I couldn't name Trump's. I couldn't but, name Trump's. But no. But then why Kamala? Because you just like instinctively said Kamala. Because I'm a Democrat. I'm, re I'm a registered Democrat. But can can can, can you just help me out? Because like, I what, what is I don't. I've seen Project 2025. I don't really agree with a lot of this. Like stuff what? Like what? I mean. Uh, I mean, dude, what do you want me to say? I told you I'm not a Anything. professional on this stuff. Anything? Yeah, I mean, I'm, you're, you're voting for Kamala. I'm curious yeah. why. Should, should I not vote? I mean, I think you should vote for Trump, obviously. Oh. I don't, why I don't should, should I vote for Trump? Well, because you'll be wealthier, happier. There won't be World War III. We'll have a border. Can you tell me why? Yeah, absolutely, because for four years we saw that people your age were able to own homes. Yeah. Your wages went up. We saw people record. People my age. Uh, what, I'm 18. People my 18 yes, years old buying correct. homes. Yeah, a lot of people 18 actually work and don't go to college, believe it or not. I know that's uh, hard to believe. It's not hard to believe. I have a brother who's a blue-collar worker. He's an electrician. Okay, so then you understand it. So blue-collar yeah. workers saw their wages go up the most under Donald Trump. <laughs> Younger voters were able to buy homes under Donald Trump. We saw the greatest economy in American history. Donald Trump had peace across the world. We had first president... But isn't... He's like a... He just... he Peace with who? I mean... Well, Putin did not invade Ukraine. Israel was not at war with Gaza. No. It was the first president in 40 years. But wouldn't you say, hold like, on, couldn't it you was argue the first that some president. of his policies allowed this what, to happen? One second. I mean, There's a first president in 40 years where we yeah. did not have a new war, correct? We had new wars under Clinton, new wars under Bush, new wars okay. under Obama, okay. new wars under Biden. But Donald Trump, we had no new wars. Why is that? I don't know. You're the expert. Because, because, he, because he was a great treaty. president. Yeah. Because we had, we, had, we had peace treaties because... It was peace through strength. The point is that we don't have to guess about the type of president Donald Trump is. So are we weaker? Are we weaker with like a democratic leader? Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. the that's the yeah. argument. Well, Interesting. Well, think about it. Our dollar is worth less. BRICS is ascendant. Putin invades Ukraine. China is wealthier Putin, than ever. Putin, Trump. How many pictures did Trump take with well, hold Putin? Hold on, this is interesting. So pictures are a bad thing. Well, wait, hold like, on. Why, why is he so associated? Interesting. With him? That's an interesting question. So well, under okay, Obama, under Obama, Putin takes over Crimea. Okay. Under Biden, Putin invades Eastern Ukraine. Yet his buddy with Trump, he doesn't take any land of Ukraine. Why is that? I Maybe don't know. because Donald Trump used diplomacy. Thank you. And he you. was able to have, Don, have Vladimir Putin understand that you take a square inch of Ukraine, we will launch rockets into Moscow. Would we really do that? Do you think we would have done that? Under Vladimir, Trump? it doesn't even matter if you think it or not. What we know is the reality is that hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians did not die under Donald Trump's watch. They sure. did die under yeah. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. Sure. Yeah. That's, I'm not, I can't argue with that. I mean, I don't. How many American soldiers died under Trump? Very few. Yeah. How Very many few. died under Biden? A lot, actually. How many? 13 in one day at 13. the Bagram withdrawal in Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah, and not to mention the American hostages killed just the other day. Where? In, 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 like, in Gaza. In, in Gaza? Yeah, uh, they were American passport holders uh, that were American Were they citizens. like press people? No, they were American citizens that were at a rock concert, uh, like a rave oh. concert in southern Israel were kidnapped That's by whack. Gaza. So we are on the verge of World War III. Our okay. dollar is worth less than ever before. It is harder than ever to buy a home. The economy is worse for everyone in this audience than it has been in over 30 I mean, years. You can, you're saying all this stuff, but again, like I came to you about environmental regulation. No, no, for sure. But no, I, like this is, no, I know, but I just want to go back to, I asked yeah. you, that's fine. You can vote whoever you want to. I mean, this, to. Is, this is like no, led but, to this. I understand that I've contributed no, no, to it. No, 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 I just, I just, it, it's totally fine. Obviously, I asked you how, wh why you'd vote for Kamala. You gave an answer. Yeah. yeah. And you, well, right, I don't know. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. I, I mean, just I, I will go home and do research. Come and back and tell me an accomplishment. And when uh, will you be back next? Uh, I will actually be at the Alabama Wisconsin game next Saturday. Alabama so come find me. We're gonna get. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you find a, I'm gonna go Badgers. If uh, <laughs> we're losing. If you find a single accomplishment of hers, uh, only if you say you're voting for Trump. I'll take it. Yeah. This young lady gets a hat. But if you find an accomplishment, come find me. All right? Thank you so much. Appreciate the dialogue. Wait, what if I say I'll vote for Trump? I don't I believe you hat. at this point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, I love the entire conversation. Uh, I'm very glad the, the guy right there is not rude. Because some people who are, some scholar students who support Kamala are, are also, who are Democrats, are try very, very rude. But the guy needed clarity. And... You are supporting someone who you do not know any any accomplishments that the person have actually accomplished, like something that the person have done. Be like, okay, I'm proud the person have done this. That's why I'm voting for the person. It makes no sense. You just say, okay, because you're a Democrat, any Democrat who comes, you pick, you accept him. 
Either it's going to ruin the country down, you accept. Either it's going to take the country up, you accept. It's crazy. You have to be very, 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 very mindful of your votes, who you cast your votes to. You have to be very mindful. Because if you cannot state one accomplishments Kamala Harris ever tried doing, even Joe Biden, then why are you voting for her in the first place? Why do you choose her? Like, if she become the president, let's say, what impact is she going to do? That is what you should think about. What impact is she going to do? I love the students. Um, he came to talk about the environment. Um, Charlie actually answered him and put him straight to about politics. <laughs> because during the Joe Biden period, we have a lot of war. The Ukraine um, versus uh, Russia. The Palestine right now and Israel, it's, it's, which is a very, very serious war. Donald Trump used diplomacy during his entire time being a president. He's, he's, he's a very clever man. He's, how should I put it? People are no longer afraid of America right now, unlike during the Donald Trump era. Comment down below if I'm lying. I saw it clear. During the Donald Trump era, people see Donald Trump as a, as a dictator. That's what I was saying. People see him like that, but he was not like that. He was playing politics. He was being clever. There was no war. He was a peacemaker. And this guy right here is actually having a rethink. And he's actually casting his vote for the right person. He actually wanted their hearts. He was having a rethink. Am I actually voting for the right person? Because you have to think about this. The election is not far again. You have to think about it very, 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 very well. As a youth, who are you casting your votes for? This is why I, I feel like if you ask me, that you raise the voting area to 30. Because a lot of these teenagers uh, are just casting their votes without knowing, having any, any meaningful or tangible reasons why they are actually casting their votes in the first place. According to the guy, he does not actually... It's not really into politics like that. But you are deciding to vote for someone who you are not actually sure about. Then why do you do that in the first place? There is no difference between you and someone who do not vote. You are, you are just going there to vote whereas you don't know. We are not actually sure this person you are voting for can have any meaningful impact in the society. Comment below to about this video. I feel like this guy will go have a rethink and and check about Kamala Harris' accomplishments if he really wants to vote for her and see if she has anything tangible or something, anything meaningful to impact the society or the country at large. Comment below to about this video. I'll subscribe to China, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe.